get myself in like a groove where I go to a coffee shop on Tuesday mornings. This will be my first Tuesday, so I'm not like saying I do this every Tuesday, but my hopes is to get myself out of the office when I say out of the office, out of my house and like out into the community like once a week because I can work from anywhere. So I think it'd be nice to like be in the community for like one to two hours on a Tuesday. I know people do that all the time, so it's not like a new thing. I just feel like now that, so now that Shay's in daycare, I feel like this house is just so quiet and I'm constantly like going into Taylor's office, like bothering him, like talk to me, I need attention. Um, so I'm hoping like, getting myself out into the community like once a week can kind of help with that and also invite some of my other friends who like work from home to like do that as well but I do have to work so it's not like I can just sit there and hang out so I don't know I'm it, this is like a whole new thing for me I'm like just trying it out and seeing how I like it but I hope to like pop around to different like coffee shops and just try different coffee shops I think that'd be kind of fun so today I'm gonna go to Le Bon Nash because it's pretty close to my house um, I've been there a few times. I'm sure you've seen if you've been watching my vlogs. Super beautiful. I've never sat there and worked for a while, but there is like an area where it's like more casual than like the dining room that they have that people can work out. And you can work outside, but it's like so humid today, so I probably will not do that. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. See her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls around the world They wanna be yeah. And all the dudes are trying to score Like it's fever She lives a double life Puts on the show Puts under the subtle smile so that was so fun to be able to go to the um, coffee shop. It was like good to just like get out and like be in the community and like, I don't know, just get out of the house for a second. But I have been really excited because I got some packages that I've been like waiting to like open them with you because I just think they're kind of fun. So the first one is we got a new stroller we i need to do like a full review on the strollers that we have um we've been pretty loyal to bugaboo i just feel like i really like their strollers um mainly because i like the way they look and you guys know it's really important to me um but they also function really well they're that's a little bit different because i feel like a lot of my friends aim for the nuna stroller series which is also a really good like stroller brand so if you're going with nuna you really can't go wrong with that either um but I don't know, I just really, really love Bugaboo. I'm just kind of partial to it at this point. So I'm gonna open their travel stroller just quickly. I guess the reason why we got a travel stroller, you don't need two strollers, but what we have found is that it's easier to have a travel stroller if you're someone who likes to go out and do stuff and like have to pack it up in your car. Um, there's like pros and cons to both. So like the reason to have like the like main, I guess, non-travel stroller is it is a little bit more like sturdy it can go over like more terrain it's just more like it just can handle a little bit more it's like more of like a substantial stroller whereas like a travel stroller the whole point is that you're able to like fold it down it's lightweight it's kind of like it's less sturdy but it's meant for travel it's not meant for every day so there's you don't really need to but if you're someone who likes to travel it's very nice to have too so of course we wanted to have the second one so it's just kind of like an extra thing that you don't need but I wanted to try it out so i'm gonna open this i also got a really big package just now which is kind of like motivating me to open these other packages we got new dinner plates and i'm really excited to show them to you so let's start opening them
this is it. I actually really love it after playing around with it. Um, I feel like I've learned how to use it. And of course, I just love the design of it because Bugaboo always gets the design right. And it just looks super comfortable, like a lot of space. I, I put Shay in it already and she looked super comfortable in it, like a lot of space and room to grow and get bigger in, which is great. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this and I'm glad that we finally have a stroller that folds flat. I'm gonna open this dinnerware because I'm so excited about it and figured I would share it with you guys as well if, in case you guys are interested in some new dinnerware as well. Hold on. I am so excited. So I was looking something to replace my, I actually just ended up buying a bunch of Ikea dinnerware. I used to have like Pottery Barn, but I was kind of over that vibe. Nothing against Pottery Barn, I was just kind of over it because we'd gotten it from our wedding registry. And so I replaced everything with Ikea because it, it was a little bit more streamlined, less farmhouse. And that now <laughs> I'm like, I need to upgrade from Ikea because the Ikea just kept chipping. And so I heard about Fable and I heard that they were just like a really good like everyday dinnerware set. And of course I went to look online and I couldn't stop thinking about them. So I ended up ordering just some of their dinnerware sets. This is a gifted product by the way, but I am very excited to share with them because I have been thinking about it for a while. We did the speckled white, but they have like a, a lot of really cool colors on their website. So if there's something that you want other than white, um, there's some other cool colors on there as well. I just, I like that it's speckled though, not like a pure white. It just has like a little bit of a detail to it, which I find really cool. Um, so yeah, this is a serving set of four. So these are, how does this come? It's like the dinnerware set. So it's it usually like when you sign up for this set, it's a set of four. And so I actually ordered a second set. So I'll have a set of eight so I can serve eight people, but it comes with four salad plates, four dinner plates, um, the small like salad bowl and the pasta bowl, which is great because if you are somebody who likes to cook or just likes to entertain, you know it's you know the different size bowls you use for different things. Um, and it's great that they all match, which you know to me is so important because I really like things to match and mismatch does you know just drive me crazy. And then I ended up getting some of their matte black silverware. We had some silverware from H&M Home that was matte black and we've used it for a few years and you know it's from H&M so it's not really holding up super well. So I figured I'd get some matte black from them and just like upgrade my silverware. And I just find matte black to be just like super chic. This actually has like an undertone of gray to it which is kind of cool so it's not like your stark black. It's a little bit more of a muted black which I've been into lately so I think these are really cool and it comes with the, when you order the set of silverware, it's a set of four as well, but it comes with like the bigger fork, the smaller fork, big spoon, small spoon, and the knives. So you get like the whole set. So it kind of just like takes, takes care of what you need. You know, you can order a set of four, a set of eight, whatever you need, but it's kind of nice because it just like groups it all together so you don't have to individually buy each one like you do at some stores. And then the other last piece of the puzzle that we got is this like carafe set. So you can fill this with water and put it on the table, of course. And then you have your matching cups, which I think are just so cute. I feel like I wouldn't drink coffee and stuff out of this too, because I think these are really cool. They're just like really thick. Like my Ikea plates um, chip 
all the time. Like it's so easy to chip the Ikea plays, which I mean, there's no surprise there. You get what you pay for. <laughs> um, these ones are like really thick and really good quality and pretty heavy. Um, so you can tell that they'll probably stand up for the test of time, but I'll keep you guys informed as I use them, but I love them so far. I do have a discount code for you guys and it's just Sarah Wisted 10 off and that's for 10% off on your checkout code. I will put that code down in the details below as well as the link that you can click through. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in looking at Fable, then definitely go through my link below and I will keep you guys updated on how you like them. better than like a fresh set of dinnerware <laughs> like I swear um, so we're throwing out all of our beat up old dinnerware I mean we'll probably donate it but I don't think we can donate like these ones that have like a lot of chips in them so I would feel bad like donating those ones but we'll probably donate the ones that are not chipped and then maybe just throw out the ones that are chipped so maybe someone else can enjoy these because I mean they look nice they just don't hold up very long so I also have to replace I just moved all of our black silverware over there as well to be donated. Um, but now I need to clean this out. It's also a little broken. We've had this for a while and it's from just from Amazon. So it's not like super nice or anything, but the um, dividers have come out. So it kind of just like moves all over the place. But I did buy some super glue and this thing always moves up forward like this as well. So I think we're gonna like drill it into the wood here so that it doesn't move. And I'm just gonna clean it really quick so it can feel nice and fresh like everything else. We just got back from the lake. We had such a fun weekend for the 4th of July at the lake. We got to decorate golf carts that you guys got to see and Shay, it was just so fun to like have a baby and be able to do that kind of stuff. Um, last night, I know my hair just looks like I didn't get to do it this morning because last night at 3 a.m. the power went out and we only noticed it because the baby monitor started beeping so we like woke up and I had to go upstairs and make sure that we had a like portable monitor or portable sound machine so I could turn that on for Shay. Um, it wasn't that big of a deal. It did just come on. It's like 9 a.m. So, but it's just like kind of a hassle when, when the power goes out. Um, Shay and I have been sick for a few days, like just like the typical like daycare bug, but she had like a really really bad diaper rash, so we couldn't like do a lot in terms of like getting in the water or like I just didn't want to make it worse. You know what I mean? So. 
it's just been a crazy last few days, but we are back. I started working down in, in the um, dining room today instead of in my office because I just wanted some more like natural light because the power was still out when I started working. Um, but it's back on. I have a little bit of time. I just feel like I need to take a break. It's just super slow after the 4th of July, so it's like any time I have just like a break in work and I'm waiting for like more to come in, um, I try and like get something done. So. I think I'm gonna build my last video. I think I mentioned that I was going to like update our, we're calling it like the mudroom closet. And it's literally just like a coat closet that we're trying to turn into like a semi mudroom so that we could keep all of like Shay's shoes and just like everything organized in there. Um, so I think I'm gonna build that. I was gonna paint that room white, but I'm kind of lazy and just like really don't wanna do that. No one's gonna see it anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I think I'm just gonna build the stuff that goes in there and I'm gonna put it in there and see if we like it. About to have a little Ikea-like project on my hands. I didn't realize it came in this many pieces, but let's put it together, I guess. say this thing was such a pain to put together it's like worse than ikea furniture the instructions don't really make a ton of sense so unless you're like used to putting together furniture like obviously i do a lot of ikea furniture like you kind of just have to like wing it oh it does come i'm like leaning on it it does come with this like pad that you can put on the top if you want to like use that to like sit and put your shoes on and stuff but i don't want it on top so we're not going to use this pad thing so i'll probably just get rid of it empty like I said I was gonna paint this white to like match the white out here because it's beige but I like, really am too lazy for that so I'm just gonna clean really quick and then we'll move it in okay so I realize this looks a little awkward in here um I was trying to decide if I wanted to push back against the wall but I think I like it like this if this will focus um because you can still access it it's like right in the front but it's not pushed up against the front, so you can still get in there. And you can open it here, but it also leaves room to like put stuff behind because I do keep my tripod in here. And then we can also like put like her fold up stroller in here and just, you know, stuff behind it. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I also got these little baskets. I need to like get them situated but I wanted to put them at the top so I'm just going to see if they fit up here. This is already looking so much better. Like ugh, just brings my heart so much joy so I'm going to start to bringing some stuff in here. I have to decide what I want to keep in these baskets up here. Um, so yeah I guess I'm just going to keep organizing. I also got a thing for the door here so let me hang that really quick also. All right, this feels so much better, much more organized. And I honestly realized I had a bunch of just random stuff in here that I need to get rid of. So I did move this over slightly so it's not like fully centered on this door because we do keep our <laughs> paper towels in here. Um, we just, it's an easier space to keep it. I put some of our coolers and stuff back there, just like to go bags. And then, yeah, this is really what I wanted this for. It's just to like have space to like throw shades shoes here like after daycare and then these are the books that we are like the toys that we usually bring when we go to dinner like just to entertain her so i usually just throw those in my purse i'll probably throw like um sunscreen like bug spray stuff like that in here and yeah we just have more space if we need it but you know me i'm trying not to fill it if i don't need to so this feels so much better to me okay actually this is pretty genius 
I usually keep my purse right here and it drives Taylor crazy because it's just like out on the cabinet. Um, but I don't like to keep it in my room. Maybe I will one day when I have kids like running around like grabbing stuff, but I just like to have it out and accessible. I don't like having it all the way back in my room. So <laughs> this is perfect. I can just put my purse right here, close the door, and it's like it's not even there. Um, and then I did put our foldable stroller behind that. So if you can't tell, I love to feel organized. This doesn't like visually look beautiful, but I feel like this just makes me feel so much better. You guys, I am on one today. I have all these random Amazon purchases, and this one is, um, I started doing, and I was like, I realized this might be helpful to those of you who have babies, so I found this. Let me pull this out. It's like this plug that you can, like, and see, we already have the covers for, like, baby proofing, but you wouldn't even need that if you just got this. And basically it's an extension cord, so you plug this part in and it's an extension cord. And then this is separate, but you can buy these little boxes for, it's a cord management box, but it's also baby proofed. Like your baby won't be able to get in here. So you can put like your plugs and stuff inside the box and your baby can't get to it. See, my problem is, is I am a psychopath and I buy... Um, like foreign lamps so like the lamp that I bought has to have this converter to be like um, to work in the US and it sticks out a little bit so it's like really easy for her to pull out and she can like stick her fingers in there and everything and then I also tried to make it super easy with this like it's like one of those remote hold on one of those remote controlled plugs so I have it that's what this thing is. I just have command strips, so I have like the bottom hanging out if I ever want to move it somewhere else. But I have this lamp that's controlled by this like light switch that I like command stripped up on the side of our um, dresser. And then it, this is what it's like. It, you plug it in, and that's how you can control it. So the problem is, is it was like this in the wall, so it's already thicker in the wall, and then you had to have the converter in the wall. And then the lamp plug, because like I said, I of course buy the most complicated lamp. Um, but it all fits in here. So I'm just trying to make everything organized because Shay does love to come over here and try and pull these out. And I just, you just never know. So I'm keeping it super safe over here. Such a difference like I know you can even make these cords look a little bit better so if you're someone who wants it to look nice um, I think it's yeah this thing comes with these like cord covers so you can like even cover this cord all the way down and across the wall if you wanted to but this is in the corner of Shay's nursery so you really can't see it anyway but I mainly just wanted it over here because she keeps like trying to get her hands in this electrical plug. So this is hard to open so she can't get this open either. That makes me feel so much better. I also, I think I showed this to you guys on a different vlog. We have this remote for this tree. Look, I'm sorry, everything is like totally messed up in her room. But though we have this remote for this lamp over here. Shay loves to grab this and like play with it. So I used to leave it on this table right here, but I can't because she'll go back there and get it. So I got to figure out what to do with this because she just likes to take it. And then as I'm realizing it, I probably need another box for this situation because she does come over here and try and get into this. So maybe I'll order another one. 
Sorry, and one more thing while I'm here because my friend Savannah just told me this was a thing. They have these like, I think it's called like the butt spatula. Um, but these things are like very needed. I didn't even realize this was a thing, but we have her Aquaphor in here. So like anytime she has diaper rash or whatever, we can take the Aquaphor out of here. And the problem is, is like you just, in general, like with Aquaphor, you have to like stick your finger in and then like put her, you know, put it on her diaper rash. But this, it's like you can literally just dip it in, like put it on, and then when you're done with it, you can just stick it wherever you want it, and it just sits there. And I just think this is the coolest thing ever. They have a bigger size too. I just got the smaller one because I feel like you don't really need anything bigger than that. Um, this one comes with a traveling case too, so if you wanted to have one like while you're traveling, I don't know. I just think it's it's not necessary, of course, but like, why would you not just do that? You know, it makes life easier. Today is a good day because I'm going to my flower shop that I haven't been to in so long and I'm really excited. I just need to take a break from work, honestly, and take a little drive on this beautiful weather today I feel like will do me some good. So I'm finally going to replace those because that is so gross. Um, I called them. They don't have any more like flowering branches because they're out of season. I'm still learning about flowers and did not realize that. But I'll probably get some like tall greenery or something to put here, which I think would be really pretty. So let's go see what they have. branches I've ever bought I think. Just really kind of trying out some new things so we'll see <laughs> how it goes. to do something that I've been dying to do like since I've moved to Georgia there's this antique market called Scott's Antique Market and it's only open once a month and it's like this I guess group of vendors that just bring in like these really awesome antiques and I think there's also like custom furniture that you can make there and just really unique items and I just haven't been so I'm finally going I've convinced my parents to go with me we did leave Shay at home with Taylor so we have full attention on this home decor journey. So I was gonna take you guys with me and show you guys around, I guess. So let's do it. My head's so messed up, but I can't fold in no fear. 
Got sight set right up on these bands And I'm gon' use the wipe tears Five years to stick into the plans I made when I was a jit Told moms I can't go live no normal life Won't stop till I'm rich Said where were you when I was down bad And the money coming to me so fast Left the whole she a big dub Straight forward with it, I don't go back Everybody living better I still remember times when them broke down Tied it on, this come up I gotta get a bag for the fam now But I got nobody to lean on Got a cold heart in a cold world Ever since you left I don't know what's next I ain't found closer I keep a knife in my chest Just to cut holes off I don't know them Leaving a bitch in the past, I gotta go now, it's over Left me out here grieving Shit on that up, baby, I'ma get even It's a cold world, baby, and I'm just getting heated So I'm the only one I ever really needed I gotta find a way out of this fucking position I stay with a gang and don't stress by no bitches I took all my pain and I put it in records They turn up the speaker, I turn it to riches When I'm alone, the past come at a homie So I feel like turning that boy to a cat when I'm off whiskey, I feel like myself And I'll turn that bitch so cause it really don't matter I got my mind on my money Paranoid, they all look at me funny Stressed out, so my liver stay muddy Pipe down, you won't take nothing from me I don't need nobody to love me I don't never put nobody above me Did the time, you can't say that I'm lucky Shit unchanged, bitch, stay away from me I got nobody to lean on Got a cold heart and a cold world Ever since you left, I don't know what's next I ain't found closer I keep a knife in my chest just to cut holes off I don't know them Leaving a bitch in the past, I gotta go now, it's over Left me out here grieving Shit on that up, baby, I'ma get even It's a cold world, baby, and I'm just getting heated So I'm the only one I ever really need Just got back from Scott's And I'm pleased to say that I found two things Well, one's for me and I got Taylor a little gift too, which I have not given to him yet. So, just wanted to show you this is what I was wearing to Scott's. It's like super gloomy and gross out, but it's just these shorts from Club Monaco that are like, kind of like the pleated pants, but they're shorts, which is great for summer, of course. And then I just have this little like, bra top from Evolve. I think it's Jonathan Sumiaki. I will link it down below. I can't remember exactly what brand it is. And then this is my trusty old French Connection button down. I've literally had this for a while and I wear it all the time. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. This is what I found. The guy said it was a food festival bowl from, I think it's from Ethiopia, but my dad thinks he said Nigeria. So one of the two countries, but I still think it's pretty cool that they used to just bring this out for the festivals and put, fill it with food. And it's definitely been used, so how cool. We also got Taylor this like cutting board. There's this guy who makes cutting boards and they're super unique. So I thought it was kind of cute. We don't have a small one like this, like to cut limes or whatever for cocktails or just random like one-off things. So how cute. All right, we are headed to get some coffee. We're just going to a local place here called Cafe Vendome because they have good food and good coffee, so nothing fancy, but we're about to go. a good weekend this weekend with my parents we ended up going to the Braves game on Sunday which I don't think I vlogged so yeah it was kind of like a long weekend it was it's really fun it was good to just like do some stuff outside the house like I, I know I keep saying this or I've said this in the past like COVID just really makes you realize like how grateful well from I can speak for myself I guess how grateful I am to be able to like do stuff like go to a Braves game or go to a vintage store or like the um, like the antique outlet that we went to this weekend. It was just, 
it's just so nice like being able to do stuff like that and being able to get out and be in the community and just I don't know I'm just so grateful for it um but I'm hopping on here because I'm so frustrated so I got this letter from Mercedes-Benz of a recall for brakes on my car and it literally says stop drive order which means that I literally cannot drive my car now that I've like seen this that I know and basically what it's saying is there is some sort of recall on the brake where it could your brake could fail like you literally could be out driving and your brake just doesn't work and like you could crash or whatever and it's just so scary because this came out it says june 2022 and it's july 2022 now so i've been driving it around i mean i mean this has been forever i guess but until they figured it out that this is happening to brakes with my um vin numbers that they call it it's like a specific car and so i've been driving around this car with my baby my newborn and just oh it just literally like freaks me out thinking like I could have been in a car wreck like not only for myself but for her and you know Taylor drives it too so it's just like so scary we've been everywhere with her in that car I just am really frustrated but we'll move on from this it's just I had to vent to you guys for a second but I did want to show you really quickly I'm about to end this vlog here just because I feel like it could be going on for a while but i was looking at the new rh catalog that they just sent out and i was like pleasantly surprised because there was an image in here that's like very similar to what we're trying to achieve in our backyard so it's like now i can show this to our architect um like this is exactly what we're looking for and it just so happened to be in the new rh catalog which is great So this is pretty much what we're looking for. So we have to have retaining walls. I don't know if I explained that to you guys in the backyard. I'll do like a full backyard um, whenever, just like a full backyard reno update at some point, but this is just kind of like a quick update, just those of you who have been following and know kind of what's back there. But we have to have retaining walls, so that would be like this. And we are gonna do stucco, and we're hope, hoping that the, we can do the white stucco to match. We're gonna paint our house white. It's not gonna be a stark white. You guys know that I really am over like the stark, bright, bright white. I want it to be more like a creamy white, just kind of like we have really what kind of what we have here. Our house is a little creamy white, but I think it might actually be more creamy. So it might be more of like a warm toned color, but it'll still look white and not like beige or anything like that. So the wall will match the house color. And then I want to have like these oversized and they don't even have to be oversized. They can be like smaller ones, but just like these pavers that look really, really clean and go seamlessly into the wall like that. And then in the courtyard area, we're actually it's there's not going to be a gap between like the, the wall and the fence. I think the fence might be like pretty much right behind the wall but we wouldn't be able to plant like plants like this um we're trying to save space which taylor wants to capture as much space as possible you guys know i'm more about the aesthetic so i would put the gap there but i i get what he's wanting there so instead we're gonna have a fence with ivy it'll just be a, a fence that will have like a full fully grown grow oh my god i can't speak today Fully grown in ivy, um, which will take some time to grow in, so we'll have to look at a fence for a while, but he, our architect thinks maybe two years the ivy will be grown in, so you won't see the fence. Um, I'm kind of weird, and I just like don't want to see the fence, so that's my current dilemma. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was cool. I wanted to show you guys this, because it's literally like what was in my mind, and it just showed up at the front door, which I'm telling you, manifestation is real. Once you start thinking about something, it somehow just appears everywhere. So hopefully that's what our backyard will look like. We did get the second revision from our architect. So he did send us like based on our initial call, um, he sent us some revisions and it's still not quite right. There was one thing, um, I guess I'll just share it with you guys. Like we have this like walkway that I wanted to do like oversized pavers with like the small, um, it's not pea gravel, it's, it's called something. It's like the nicer gravel that you can put in between the pavers. It's where it's like, it would be tone on tone, but it's kind of like a Japanese garden style look. Um, but he, our architect weirdly is like against that. I don't know why he, maybe he just doesn't like it or 
he keeps telling us like the rocks are gonna kind of like be loose and it's gonna be annoying and he just keeps pushing us away from that so I'm like okay we're not gonna do that he offered to put like the grass in between the pavers which I don't hate that style so just bear with me on how I explain this but I don't love I just don't want grass in between pavers I feel like it to me it looks a little messy like it looks messy in a good way and like some people's houses that have it but it's in that main area I just wanted it to look really crisp and really clean and not messy so Taylor was like yeah let's do the grass in between the pavers and I'm kind of like fighting him on that because I just feel like it's gonna be in there and it's just gonna bother me so I'm, I'm gonna propose a different solution but Hopefully we won't have the grass between the pavers, but apparently we're not doing the rocks in between the pavers because he said that also is annoying. So we'll see. But I'm just like rambling at this point. I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up um, and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video.